Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. And I am here today with just some conversation. I just wanna make conversation. I just wanna point out some key factors of what a lot of us have been experiencing during these this last half year. And I just wanna try to encourage everyone because sometimes I find it hard uh, to even encourage myself. So I try to reach out to other people to encourage other others. And I'm just here um, just to say, hold on, hang in there. I know there are people dealing with a plethora of challenges right now, just coming from everywhere all at once. And we're trying to figure out how we're going to rebuild our businesses, how we're going to rebuild um employment because some people have lost their jobs and those jobs have dissipated they've went away so there's no jobs out there um there's quite few and um so we're we're, we're in the process of rebuilding and i just want to encourage you guys that uh, we have to lean uh towards the lord god he has to be our source we have to understand that it's not man that's going to help us out of what we're going through. It's our source, our Lord, whoever we call God. That's the, the, the being that's going to help us out of what we're going through. And I just want to encourage you guys, I don't care how dark or how bleak you, you may feel. If you, you know, you see other people thriving and surviving, you know, you want to celebrate with them. You want to um, be happy for them, but don't allow that to make you feel like you're losing because you're not it's just it's just it may not be your season and your season could happen overnight 24 hours your life could change so don't do anything drastic right now anything that an end all to whatever you're going through don't do it be patient be steadfast don't waver in your belief system don't waver in your morals um, you have to still trust God. And what helps me is that even when I'm going through a time where I, I really can't figure it out, you know, I've always been the type of person I had to plan ahead so many years for so many different reasons. I had to make sure I planned ahead, but now it's like, how do you plan ahead? You know, if you're one of those people where you're a planner and you're, you, you feel like, oh, I got to plan ahead, but everything's so up in the air, you can't. So this is the time for us to be patient and it's time for us to rebuild and to build ourselves up. So if um, business is a little slow or if you're not working, do something to add to um, your skills and your abilities. Like with me currently, I won't lie, I'll, I'll be very transparent. I've lost half of my business in my businesses. Last year, I, was, I had tripled what I made this year. That's the God and his truth. But I'm not wavering. I'm trusting God and I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay in there and I'm going to fight until I get back up. Um, but what I'm doing now, currently during my slow time, my slow season, I'm building myself. I'm teaching myself Spanish. I'm learning Spanish so I can have a second language, you know, in my, under my belt. So that'll help me get more clients, Spanish speaking clients. I'm taking tax classes because I also have a tax business. So I have a tax business and I have a real estate business. I'm doing things in those fields that's gonna build me up, taking classes, getting certifications so that I can be ready once my business returns back full. So I just wanna encourage other people, no matter what that is, you may not have a business, you may be working in a certain industry that's kind of dissipated for whatever reason those businesses have closed down now you might have to reinvent yourself and that's okay find something that you like get a certification or a certificate study and show yourself approved and just keep going whatever you do you cannot you cannot give up you can't just lie there and accept what the world wants to dump on you. You have to fight your way back up to the top. And I'm telling everybody that's been affected by COVID-19, the coronavirus, we can and we will succeed, but we have to do something extra. We have to do those things that other people may not do. We have to set ourselves apart. Do something different. Be special. Be a leader, not a follower. And watch this thing turns around for you. 
I just wanted to shoot this little quick video because I'm in my office and um, I, I will be totally transparent. This COVID-19 has really kicked my butt. It's kicked my butt in every area of my life. And all I can do right now is trust God. Now I've had a lot of good things happen, a lot. And I praise God for those things, but I've also had some things that weren't really in my favor. And, but throughout it all, I still give God praises because he's been so good to us. Uh, and I just, you know, I want to encourage you all to do the same thing, to trust God. Regardless of what you see around you, you have to keep your mind stayed on God and doing right by people, bettering yourself, building yourself up, adding more skills to your skill sets and just pressing forward. I'm gonna let you guys go. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.